And that right there is free game. So one of the most popular questions I get is how do I find a deal? And I'm gonna get right to that and make it simple for you. At the end of the day, you have to do your own due diligence and you really have to get out there and grind. But that's not the only way. Realtors, make the realtors work for you. Now, what a lot of people don't know if you've never bought a house before is that when you're the buyer and you have a realtor, the seller actually pays your realtor's commission, not you. It comes out of the seller's uh, closing costs. So why not make that realtor work? At the end of the day, you can do a lot of research on your own and I'll show you ways to do that. But the realtor at times, or most of the times, is gonna have access to information that you don't have. They may have access to off-market sales and properties that are about to hit the market that haven't gone public yet. So the realtor is your friend. You wanna make sure that you get in good with them, explain to them what you're doing, that you're trying to buy and flip homes. And for them, they're gonna to wanna to keep you happy as a customer because they know that if they start this relationship off right with you, it's gonna to lead to a lot more purchases for them and for you. And more purchases for you means more money for them because it's more commission. So at the end of the day, they're gonna to wanna to satisfy you so that they can keep that money going. Now, you have to use that to your advantage. You have to make them work. Stay on top of them. Always make sure you let them know like, hey, I'm looking for something in this area or that area, or I'm looking for something at this price point. I'm looking for something that I can make these type of margins on. These are all things that you have to know and you let them know so that when they're out there, they're not just looking at a thousand houses, but they know specifically what to look for and what to find and what is gonna be beneficial for you. Now, the second part I was talking about, or I should say the first part, because I started off with it, is you doing your own due diligence. There's so many sites out here now that allow you to get on there and search and find out what's on the market and what's available. So literally for me, I have a realtor, I have two realtors actually that go out and constantly look for deals for me. But at the same time, me personally, every day I get up, I'm on Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, Realtor.com, and a bunch of other sites just looking for deals. Me personally, obviously I know what I like, so I look for specific things that are on the market, but that's me. I have a realtor that does the same thing. There's times where the realtor will shoot me a text or email and say, hey, I found this, you should go check it out or I can go check it out for you. And being that we have established a relationship and we've bought and sold a bunch of houses together, he already knows what I'm looking for, which is what I was telling you earlier. So sometimes I'll just have him go check it out for me and he'll give me the green light, yeah, I think this is a good deal especially when a lot of my houses are in different states. So it's great to have a realtor or realtors like that that can go look for you. It'd get expensive if you have to fly out to look at every single house. And then the houses I find, sometimes I'm the one sending it to him. Like, hey, I just came across this deal. Being that I'm online every single day looking for houses, I typically see them the first day they hit the market because I'm always looking. I'm not solely relying on my realtor to do all the work for me. So it's always gonna give me a jump on my competition because I'm always looking. I don't let a day pass where I don't look. So those two things are the ways you will find a deal. Another little secret about finding a deal that a lot of people don't know about is go to your local city hall and sometimes they have houses that are foreclosed that have been owned by the city. And depending on the state and city you live in, you can buy that house directly from the city. A lot of people don't know that. It doesn't work in every city, but I know some cities where it does work for sure. So take those three steps right there, and I guarantee you, you will find a deal. And that right there is free game. Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, hit the bell on top, for notifications so every time I drop a new video, you'll be informed and I'll keep giving these to y'all because people have been telling me that they like it and people have been telling me that they've been wanting this for a long time. 
So hope you guys appreciate it. And I'll holla at you in the next one. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.